So this morning we're going to look at Shemini part two in two parts as this is yeah. Esta mañana vamos a ver Shemini en dos partes. The Torah reading contains within it do not become intoxicated when you enter into the house of meeting. The Torah contiene el mandamiento que no tomes intox uh, uh, que no te intoxiques cuando vienes al uh, delante de Dios. So when you come when you cry out, when you call out to God, cuando uno clama a Dios, thank you. Uh, he wants for you to be in the right frame of mind. Amen. Amen. Y él quiere que tú vengas enfocado en él. Here's the teenagers at this time. They can go with. Zili, um, the younger children, is, is Anastasia doing that back there? Okay. The younger children, they can go with her and she'll take you to the class. Okay, that's it. Thank you. All right. Years ago, there was, there was a uh, brother who was doing ministry. And every time people would go for prayer, y cada vez que la gente venía para la they would say, man, he, he must be really filled with the Spirit. He, he had the Spirit. Tenía el Espíritu. Some, some weeks it was the Spirit of Jim and Coke. Some of the other, spirit, some of the other weeks it was the Spirit of, uh, of Crown Royal or something else. El espíritu en términos de que le gustía, le gustaba beber. When you and I come before the king, cuando tú y yo vinimos delante del rey, he'll receive you no matter how you are. Te va a recibir no importa cómo eres. But once you begin to know who he is, pero ya que comienzas a conocer quién es, there has to be some reverence about how you come before the king. Tiene que ver a una reverencia en cómo vienes delante de él. Some understanding. That he is the king. Un entendimiento que él es el rey. And we are his children. Y somos nosotros sus hijos. That doesn't mean we can behave like brats. No quiere decir que nos, por, nos podemos portar chiflados. That was okay. Chiflados. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Mr. Coffee. I did not know that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now I know when somebody says that. <laughs> So in Leviticus 10 and 3, so en Leviticus 10 y 3, then Moses said unto Aaron, y Moisés le dijo a Aaron, this is what Adonai spoke of, esto es lo que dijo Adonai, to those who are near me, a los que están cerca de mí, I will show myself holy, les voy a enseñar mi santidad, Upon the faces of all the people, sobre las caras de todas las gentes, I will be glorified. Seré yo glorificado. Those who are near me, I will show myself. A los que están cerca de mí, yo me voy a manifestar. Right off the bat, you kind of think, all right, I have to draw close for, to God for Him to be near to me. Amen. Amen. Entonces tenemos que pensar que nosotros debemos de acercarnos a Dios para que él se acerque a nosotros. It, it's a any people in here that have been in a relation ever try and let the other person do all the work? Brothers, you try and let your wife do all the work as far as the relationship? Are you saying that part low? <laughs> Where, where's sister at? Get her over here. Hey, he got quiet with that part of it. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm going to call you out. Not just yet. Um, or sisters. Or hermanas. This rarely happens, but I'm going to go ahead anyway, right? 
Sí, sí, yo voy a let the, the husband do all the work in the relationship. Yeah. Más me pregunto para ustedes, si ustedes dejan que el esposo haga todo el trabajo en, el, en la relación. All, all the cariño, and all, all the doing the chores, and everything else, you let them do all of it. Todo el trabajo de la casa. Huh? Huh? Quizás durante el embarazo. It doesn't work if it's a one-sided relationship, amen? Una relación no funciona si no más en un lado. It, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You know, if you don't show that you're caring, that you're interested, that you're concerned, that you're invested emotionally, financially, and physically, then what's the point? Right? What's the point? If you're not invested from your heart, you're just doing it for a show? Si no viene del corazón, es we all we all read in the tabloids that the that the relationships that are done for a show they they fizzle within a couple months, right? Siempre miramos esas relaciones superficiales que no duran. God has, since the beginning of time, designed relationships, and He put Himself and us as the example. Dios desde el principio del tiempo ha diseñado en la relación y él se puso a él. That relationships should be lasting and enduring. Que la, que las relaciones deben de durar y aguantar. You and I walking in faith with God. Tú y yo caminando en, en santidad con Dios. Even if you just started walking with God and you're in the infancy of your relationship. Aún si apenas andas iniciando tu relación con él. Even in the infancy of your relationship with God. Aún en tu relación iniciando. Stay on point, brother. <laughs> Even in the infancy of it. Aún. Aún iniciando. Take that relationship seriously. Toma esa relación seriamente. Make it something worthy of having. Hazlo algo digno de tener. If we buy junk, that's what you get is junk. Si compramos basura, es lo que vamos a tener, basura. It's, you know, this week it goes into the laws of kashru, the, the what's good for you to eat, what's not good for you to eat. Esta semana entramos a, a las reglas de, de kosher, de qué podemos comer y por, no, podemos, qué no podemos comer. If you put nothing but nonsense in your body, si you're going to bueno have a lot of health issues. Vas a tener muchas enfermedades. Amen. If you put a lot of spiritual junk in your life, si pones cosas espirituales que no son buenas para ti, vas a tener problemas. you're going to have a bunch of junk spiritually in your life. Vas a tener basura espiritual en tu vida. Well, I, I went to a curandera and, and they said, you know, if I, if I tap my heel six times and turn around counterclockwise that <laughs> my beans would grow purple. Um, what are you investing in? What are you receiving? ¿En qué estás invirtiendo y qué estás recibiendo? It's not by coincidence that when the Torah, when the living word of God came on the scene, no es por coincidencia que con la Torah llegó, that it echoed the same word that God has been giving us since the beginning of creation. Que repitió la misma palabra que Dios nos había dado desde el principio de la creación. And this message keeps echoing and echoing and echoing. Y sigue el mismo mensaje aún. Invest in your relationship with God. Invierte en tu relación con Dios. And that's that's not just a financial thing because no, I don't want it to be hinged on no that. Estamos hablando simplemente en términos financieros. But that's giving of who you are. Pero es dar de quien tú eres. Because that's who God wants. Porque ese es el que Dios quiere. He has all the finances in the world. He doesn't need your couple of shekels in his bucket. Tiene todas las financieras en el mundo. No necesita nada de ti. 
He wants you to be invested emotionally. Él quiere que tú estés invertido tú emocionalmente. Physically. Físicamente. And spiritually. Y espiritualmente. I think we're getting it. Um, so, this week, 